I see a lot of players put their thumb right on top of the shaft. That puts a lot of tension on the tendon running down the wrist yeah, here. I don't, yeah, I don't like that, so I really like that right there. Do a couple more of those, we can maybe get some, do we have a driver right now? Um, yeah. Mm -hmm. Ish? <laughs> you should actually Kinda. go see it. It's like a kitty one. Oh no, go, go see oh it. Like, I'm pretty sure, like, the 10-year-old girls that you teach probably have the same one as me. Yeah. <laughs> oh. <laughs> right? I, 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 I literally went like this. Right? I literally went like this, and the thing, the, the thing just, like, shot out of the bag. Like, and, I, and I felt like I just tapped it. It was like, that's how light it was. Like half a pound. <laughs> oh my god, Shreya. I remember when you had this driver. <laughs> and this one used to like get a new club and it would drive me crazy. She like would put it in the cart and there would be like an alignment rod like right here. And, and the thing would just be like this, like just dancing up in town the whole round. And she'd just be like back there and just kind of like smack it out of the way, like no big deal. Like, and it would just keep bouncing. And like, <laughs> look at this thing over the years. But she didn't care. She didn't care. She just like literally like, you know, it was like, yeah, it really is. She won tournaments like that, by the way. Mm -hmm. That's yeah, right. cares about the game. The Much more in the club, yeah. Here's a little tip for our uh, viewer. These momentous are incredible, right? Because they have the perfect grip all the time. So I'm kind of getting back a little bit more. I'm excited to play a little more golf this year than I have in the last decade, mm -hmm. uh, which has been very minimal. Well, I'm doing back to what I used to do around my house. I'm just holding onto this golf club all day. And I'm teaching, and I'm using it to show my students what they need to do. It's heavy, so I have to really use my core to stabilize it. Um, but not just that. What's great about it is it's just the perfect grip, so I really can feel the club face and the awareness in my hands all the day. And every time I rehearse something, it's just really activating the muscles that I need to be using in order to get my swing dialed in. I find that just holding this thing is an unbelievable source of just it's being able to stay consistent in the game. Um, Let's see, it really forces, it forces the core to be active. Nobody, so you, you know, never hit a ball with them? I don't, no, because I mean, it just, I feel like it would literally pull my shoulders right out of their sockets, you know, I think the thing's like five pounds, but um, it's a heavy, heavy golf club. But what's nice is, you know, show, show the camera the grip. And let's talk about that grip for a second. Well, go ahead and take your grip. So watch. You see how these V, the V's here, like go ahead and hold it right towards Gabe the normal way, like right here. Set up. Yeah, set up, go ahead and set up. Yeah, and you can see like what's cool is these V's, you know, go ahead and pinch them tight in there. You can see they go up to the right shoulder and, and that just helps the golfer get that, you know, that trigger finger in the right spot. Get the, mm -hmm. I always say, get the thumb more at 11 o'clock if this is 12 right here in the golfer's perspective. I see a lot of players put their thumb right on top of the shaft. That puts a lot of tension on the tendon running down the wrist yeah, here. I don't, exactly. yeah, I don't like that. So I really like that right there. And, and, and really the left hand is cool too because, you know, a lot of people, don't do that right, but we can see, here you go, let you hold on to this, you know, that left hand in the fingers, and really being able to get the thumb on the left hand, and once again, if that's 12, at one o'clock, thumb on the right hand at 11 o'clock, and right there, that right there, when I look down, I see two knuckles on my left hand right here, and then I see that trigger finger, that V pointing right on the inside of my arm, up my, up my arm, and that really keeps that club face square throughout my swing. Mm -hmm. People who, really get the club shut or, or real open at the top. It's amazing, I'll put this club in their hands and every time when they take a backswing, it just puts it in all the square spots um, just because the club is in their hands correctly. And the weighting of the golf club, really you can feel that awareness between club face and hands throughout swing, it's pretty cool. I mean, I my goodness so gracious. Good, She's going to be turning back to those old clubs. <laughs> Gosh, that was something else right there. It's okay, just got a little out in front of that one with the yeah. body. Did you feel that? Yeah. Keep that weight on the inside of your right foot a little bit longer, Shreya. What that'll do is it'll prevent you from pushing forward too soon and getting that body a little bit out in front of the club. Say that again? Keep the weight Way on the inside of your right foot a little longer. So when we turn to the top the of back, that driver, okay. yep, we get there, we keep that planted there a little longer as we rotate, it prevents that lateral movement that would get you out in front of it. Does that make sense? Mm -hmm. We should see this one start a little straighter, turn over maybe even a little bit. Kind of like that. Isn't that fun to watch? 
How about that ball flight, huh? Just, just, just get a little, little kick out of that driver, a little extra kick. Gabe, anything else? I think we killed it with this one. Yeah, awesome. a, lot, a, lot of good, a lot of good content. What a beautiful swing. Yeah. Shreya, you're good. Yeah. You're good. You know I love you. Thank you. Oh, before I leave, if anyone is watching high school golfer or about to be college golfer, if you're lost in that college process, like reach out to me. My Instagram is just my first name dot my last name. <laughs> I thought she was gonna say put me. On. I thought she was gonna say reach out to Adam, and I'm like all of a sudden like reach out to me. I love that. That means yeah. when we talk about family and the team, she is the epitome of it. So anything you do need, if you're a young lady, especially looking to looking for some help, looking for some advice, mm -hmm. reach out to Shri. And once again, where do we contact you? Um, just DM me on Instagram. I can spell it out: S R I Y A dot M U P P A R A J U. It's a public account, so anyone can DM me. Um, the college process was honestly really scary for me. Like, I was the first child, like, in my household. I knew nothing about the process. It was basically just, like, me and my dad just, like, running for the hills, see what we can grab. And ever since I was little, like, one of my big goals was to go D1. But then at the end of the day, I ended up going D3, which, like, I never would have thought I would have done in a million years. But it's honestly, like, I made a really good choice for myself. And I feel like if someone older than me was advising me and like showing me different perspectives, I would have gone here sooner. But regardless, I did get here. So. And you're at Carnegie Mellon, one of the best schools in the world, not just the United States. And it's and, and we couldn't be any more proud of you. But mm -hmm. I love the fact that she just offered that because you know what, guys? I mean, ladies, take, take advantage of that. Guys and gals, <laughs> take advantage of it. She's a, a wealth of knowledge, and um, it's um, we appreciate you so much. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you guys so much for watching our video. Any questions or comments you have, please leave them below. Also, click the link below to pick up three free videos. We appreciate you guys. Enjoy our channel.